wages up in both Rhode Island and Massachusetts. It's one of many laws that are taking effect this year. 12 News reporter Sheena Losciuto takes a look at some of the new legislation on the books. And Sheena, lawmakers had a busy year. Yes, that's right. And while some new laws go into effect right away, others are coming later this year, including the highly debated driver's license law in Massachusetts. The end of January, Massachusetts will see sports betting. Then in July, the Work and Family Mobility Act will go in effect. That law, also known as the driver's license legislation, allows residents who cannot prove they are legally in the country to still get a license or permit. Massachusetts voters approved the law in November after Governor Charlie Baker vetoed the effort by lawmakers. Rhode Island has a similar law that will provide driving privileges to people who don't have documents proving they're in the country legally. Governor McKee signed that bill in June. Like Massachusetts, it also goes into effect on July 1st. Today in Rhode Island, these are the new laws that are already in effect as of January 1st. This year, military pensions are no longer taxed. Plus, for other retirees, $20,000 of annual pension income is now exempt, compared to last year's $15,000. There's also a new law in the books that makes it easier for people that were either acquitted or exonerated of a crime to seal their criminal records, eliminating a $100 fine that once came with the process. The lawmakers behind that legislation say it can play a major role in helping people get their lives back on track. And Rhode Island lawmakers will be back at the State House tomorrow, welcoming in all the newly elected reps and senators. I'm Sheena Losciuto, 12 News. The year brings changes, and that includes new laws in both Rhode Island and Massachusetts. For 2023, they include everything from more money in your paychecks to bigger tax bills for some people. 12 News reporter Sheena Losciuto tells us about them. Well, first, let's start with the money. That's what everyone's talking about. In both states, the minimum wage is bumped up as of January 1st. In Massachusetts, it's now $15, while Rhode Island is up to 13 as we ring in the new year, new laws are on the books too. After countless long nights at the State House, here are some of the new laws in 2023. In Massachusetts, there's the so called millionaires tax. The new law, effective today, imposes a 4% surtax on people who make more than a million dollars per year in income. In the Bay State, minimum wage also officially went up 75 cents and is now $15 an hour. And while it's not here just yet, sports betting will soon be available in Massachusetts starting the 31st, just in time for the big game. Then a few months after that, the highly debated driver's license legislation will go into effect at the end of July, meaning residents who can't prove they're legally in the country can still get a license or permit. Now, in Rhode Island, the minimum wage is officially up to $13. That same law eventually raises the minimum wage to $15 by 2025. This year, military pensions are no longer taxed. Plus, for other retirees, $20,000 of annual pension income is now exempt compared to last year's $15,000. And something you might notice while you're out, changes from the Gender Inclusive Restroom Act, which requires any single-use restroom in a public building to be open for use by any gender. Lawmakers behind the act say it ensures safe and inclusive bathroom access to all Rhode Islanders. And it's that time of the year again where it starts all over. Rhode Island lawmakers are set to meet at the State House tomorrow to welcome in all of the newly elected reps and senators. I'm Sheena Losciuto, 12 News.